we have one final hurrah to get ready for to close out brat summer i have no time i literally just got off of work i have to be ready in like an hour i'm doing the same makeup look that i did in my last video just the brat summer makeup and i have a vision for what the outfit is so hopefully everything goes pretty smooth and my hair is already kind of done but i am gonna later i think i want to do a middle part and slick it that's the plan i got a delivery today this is a little collab cute mm. love anyways i'm so excited for tonight because literally tomorrow i'm going sober i do sober september every year it doesn't even have to be sober september the first time i did it i did it in august which was three years ago in like 2021 and every year since then i've just done it in september i don't have that much going on in september like august this is literally the fourth or fifth birthday i've had this month i've literally had a birthday to celebrate every single week of this month i think the first time i did it i didn't have all the friends that i have right now so so I didn't have those birthdays to celebrate at the time, but literally like 90% of my friends are Leos, which August is Leo season. Well, I guess we're in Virgo season right now, but whatever. This is the last birthday I think I have for this summer. The only birthday that I have to celebrate in September is my sister's, but my sister is at school and she goes to school in China. So I don't have to worry about that for now. Although she is graduating next year. So I'm probably gonna do my sober month in November next year because there's only really like Thanksgiving in November and like that's not serious enough for me to have to drink and obviously i know dry january is a thing but i have birthdays to celebrate in january and new year's obviously and i know like new year's is technically like the year before but whatever anyways dry january not for me not for me this summer has been such a vibe and i'm so glad i really made an effort to be present and make this summer feel like summer. I mean, it helped that so much good music came out and Brat Summer was a thing. Like, I think all those things really helped with like creating a summer vibe. Summers haven't felt very summery the last couple summers. With all the good music, I just know that when I listen to these songs after the summer is over, I'm gonna be taken back to this summer. And uh, it's just like, it's such a good feeling. This whole summer, I've been like, I don't even want summer to end. I literally looked up when summer actually ends and summer doesn't end until September 22nd. So it's brat summer until September 22nd. It's just gonna be a more wholesome vibe because I'm doing my little sober September. And I do this because, well, okay. The story behind that is I did it for the first time three years ago, right? And because it was COVID, I had so much time to kind of reflect and heal that I was just like, I'm gonna go sober for a month. And it was life changing. Last year was probably like the most underwhelming sober month I've ever had. Like I kind of went into it having like all these expectations, but I kind of learned that like you can't have those expectations, you know, like, I mean, honestly with anything, this is kind of a deep and broad topic for <laughs> right now, but all that to say, like last year's sober September was like the most underwhelming thing ever, I think because I had such high expectations for it. And when I say sober September, I mean alcohol, weed, and Adderall. I am prescribed Adderall, so it's not like I'm just doing that for funsies, but I definitely like, it's definitely a vice for me, for sure. And weed like, I'll do like once a week or something. Like I honestly don't even like it. And this is like a whole story, but that's like no problem for me because I don't even like it. I drink appropriately for my age and I'm responsible. Like I don't do any of these things in excess. So that's not why I do Sober September. I just think it's like a nice reset for my body, my mind and body, especially because this past month I've had so many birthdays and just so much going on in general. I'm just excited to like live sober for a little bit and see what comes out of it. It's 7.32. I want to leave here by 8 30 like latest the lighting is also so bad that I, I can't even tell what i'm doing i'm just i'm literally using muscle memory also oh my god tonight i'm kind of going out with people that i don't really usually go out with so that's interesting but i've known these people for like years like we all went to college together i just like don't go out with them like that much okay do 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 we're getting into the eyes Last weekend was so fun. <laughs> you know when just they're playing good music and you're like screaming and singing and dancing and jumping up and down and just so in the moment and just the vibes are good. 
feel like I'm gonna be really boring from now on because I've talked about all the things that I wanted to talk about. Now I just need to focus on like leaving. This one is, the flick is like too curly. You know what, I think they look similar enough and also no one gives a fuck. A realistic get ready with me usually i'm just like really zoned in if i just gotta be somewhere really quick i mean my favorite ones are when i can just take my sweet time and use inspo pics and whatever but that is just not the case today oh I've also made the decision to start filling in my eyebrows again. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I think I just wanted to be like a natural girl for a sec. Like a clean girl, the clean girl aesthetic got to me for a little. Or I don't know. No, actually I just fucking lied. That's not even true. I don't know why, but I felt like for a second, like filling in my eyebrows, I was like, this is looking too much, but no, no, no. I just went through a phase, okay? I just went through a phase. I think when, especially when you have like a bold eye, you have to do your eyebrows to balance it out or at least mine, like just a little like on the tail and shape the front. Sometimes I feel like when I talk about like beauty stuff, it's really boring. <laughs> That's why I think I only do like half tutorials because I'll start explaining like how I do my eyebrows or what I'm doing with my eyes or whatever. And then I'll do, like watch it back. And as I'm editing, I'm like, oh my God, this is so boring. So I just cut all the stuff. You wanna say hi? Um, so I just end up cutting like all of my like talk about beauty or like makeup because I'm like, bro. But I don't find makeup videos boring. So I don't know, I don't know like what the double standard here is. What time is it? 8.01. Honestly, good. Finally for the lip, I'm gonna use Hollywood Honey today. Last time I used a brown liner, but I just want to use this one this time. Mm. Do I? Maybe I'll use both. Very good, very good. I'm just gonna try to do like a little dark brown outline. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my Dior lip oil. Okay, it's hair time. I just did that in 30 minutes. Obsessed. Honestly, I don't know about the base, truly. <laughs> the base looks a little... I can't actually tell though because the lighting. I really don't know what my base looks like. Whatever, I... Are we ready? Wait, fuck. So I fucked that up so hard, but I know the dance, okay? Should, I mean, I know the dance. I thought about it a little bit too hard. The pressure was too real. <laughs> Something I've been doing, which is like so unusual for me, is that I've been starting out the night with a glossy lip. My philosophy is that I like to start with a matte lip so that as the lip fades throughout the night, you just pop on a gloss and it just looks amazing, you know? Okay, um, really questionable about this bun. If you're here for like a makeup slay, Watch my last video. My bun is literally lopsided. That's unacceptable. Horrible. No, 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 no. I actually can't. <sighs> Do we have time for this? No. Are we doing it anyway? Yes. Also, can you remember if I explained why we're even in a rush? It's because there's, I don't even know, like this guest list situation. So we kind of need to get there with the birthday girl. Like, I don't really. I was just told it's a punctual kind of night. So much better. It's 8.18. We're gonna have to make quick decisions about the outfit. There's just something that feels so good about having like a vision for an outfit, a vision for a look, and the process of putting it together. There's just something so satisfying about loving an outfit. I don't know if I'm just like stating the obvious right now, but like the confidence that you have when you're wearing something that you feel good in is unprecedented. Gonna work on this outfit and be right back. Okay, this is my vision. I was thinking, usually I wear these pearls in front, but I was thinking to do like a little like back moment. I don't know though. I'm not sure if I like it like under the halter or over the halter. It's a little bit more secure too under the halter. I like that. This fit would look so cute with like silver arm dangles, but I don't have those so we can't do that. Now anti-stink serum. Well, that's actually just deodorant. Oh shit. Now for the last thing, shoes. I have these cute little kitten heels, but mm, I don't know about them. I don't think like the flatness of the shoe is flattering. Like I think I imagined like, 
like a tall heel. Really, the only other option that I have for heel are my red ones. But now, I don't know what I'm not liking about this, but there's something I'm not liking. I think it, it's the heel. Like, I didn't really imagine any color with this outfit, but I don't have like a cute little black heel, like a pointed toe black heel. And that's what I envisioned. So my backup plan was, this skirt is actually a dress. I think I feel a little better in this. I'm kind of loving this like pearl. Like I'm just gonna hold it like this. Oh, I'm gonna wear these shoes, fuck it, whatever. I don't wanna think about it. It's hard to go wrong with like a little black dress. A long black dress? Okay, whatever. No. Oh god. Which one? <sighs> I think I'm gonna go with the black. Do, 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 do. What lip are we bringing? I wanna bring my Hollywood honey and my lip oil. And we're ready. Oh, what time is it? 8.39, fuck, okay. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. Mm, I hope this wasn't like too boring or too chaotic or... I don't even know, but love you. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tonight. It's TBD. It just depends on the vibe. If it is the end of the vlog, love you so, so, so much. Cheers. And RIP to Brat Summer, but actually, Brat Summer forever, okay? Like, I think we're all gonna cherish this era. I feel like in the moment, a lot of people, I'm gonna, why am I about to get deep? <sighs> I feel like in the moment on the internet, the moment can just feel like a little, like you would rather be somewhere else. But I've been in like, a good vibe lately because I've put a lot of effort into like just enjoying where I am or at least trying to like it takes a lot of mindfulness and it takes a lot of effort to enjoy where you are especially when you're like not really where you want to be but I don't know there's been a lot of like negative energy negativity in general online and it really sucks because like life can be good you know like I don't, I don't know if it's like, maybe I'm just chronically online. So it's making me feel like there's a lot of negative vibes out there, but I don't know. It feels like people are so like angry. I look naked, <laughs> but it feels like people are so angry and it makes me sad because like we all have the power within ourselves to like not be angry, you know, and like not be negative. And I'm not saying like, we don't have like a reason to be angry. You know, like I'm not trying to invalidate the way that we're feeling, but I'm more so saying like we have the control to take a deep breath and express gratitude and like choose that. Even when it's hard and even when you don't have a reason to, there still is a choice that you can make. I don't know. Oh my God. My point is that despite all the reasons that we have to be angry and negative and even if they are valid, this summer, and I know I'm not alone in this, this summer was just a vibe, okay? The summer was amazing. The summer was so fun. And I think we all felt that. And I think we all kind of needed it. And I think we're all gonna look back. I mean, at least I hope. I, I don't like saying absolute words like all, never, and always, but I do think like we can tap into each other other's energy as a collective and I think we are going to look back on this summer and look at it fondly and like feel nostalgic about this particular summer like hot girl summer like we look back on hot girl summer and we're like Mah! and like that was such a good time you know anyways th like all my blab to say this summer was fucking awesome <laughs> and I think we're gonna look back on it and cherish it this summer is like a good example of us maybe not realizing how good we have it and until the moment has passed and therefore a good reminder for us to enjoy the moments that we have while we're there because before we know it the moment is over anyways i'm done i literally need to leave it's almost nine so love you hope you enjoyed yeah love you we're at somewhere forever like <laughs> I'm just saying stuff now. I'm just saying stuff. I don't even know. What the fuck am I saying right now? I know the lighting is probably so ass, but 